What's going on, everybody? Hello again. I know I've been gone for quite a while. Work during the summer kept me quite busy. My computer decided it wanted to break, so I had to get a new one. But now I'm back, and I'm going to try something completely different. I'm going to try to break down GTA 6 trailer. I've never done a breakdown video before. I don't know how to go about this, so I'm just going to try to go into it and see where this goes. First things first, we already know we're down in Florida, Vice City equivalent to Miami. This is definitely the Florida Keys area. After doing some Google searching and stuff, you can kind of match up the rough areas. Obviously, it's not going to be picture perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. You can see we got a prison, what I assume to be a prison here in the background. I'm not sure if that's the one that Lucia's housed at or not, because coming up, there's a scene where you see you're in prison, but you don't get a good enough shot of the surrounding area. As you can see here, we have Lucia, clearly an inmate, but you can't see the outside surroundings of the jail, so it's hard to tell if the jail from earlier was the one she was in, but clearly she's been locked up for something in the past. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck. So I'm not sure if the story here is that she's getting paroled now and getting out of jail. She's going to go back to a life of crime, or she's going to try to clean up her act. It doesn't really specify, going off of just a video, and I'm probably reaching a bit. But So we get the first shot here out of the prison. This is definitely a new boat. I don't remember ever seeing this in GTA. Whether or not it's going to be usable, accessible, or not remains to be seen. I guess we won't know until we know, but that is definitely a new vehicle. You can see dolphins jumping out of the water up there, so I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more sea life. To go explore there was a lot in gta 5 but i'm hoping they expand from red dead because red dead's wildlife system was amazing and i really hope they build on that with it being miami and there being so much ocean to explore as you can see in this next shot it's quite beautiful i really love the look of it it looks big Really hoping it leaves lots of room for activities and all kinds of shenanigans. I'm hoping that this beach is accurate and there's a lot of people and the city life is dense. Because I know that sometimes GTA 5 felt very underpopulated for such a big city. Then as you pan into the city more, it just looks more and more pretty. Lots to look at. The city just seems to go on forever. It looks absolutely stunning. And then you see this plane coming in with a banner on it. It says Y69 when you can 919. And it looks to be a banner advertising for maybe a nightclub. Maybe it's insinuating more night activity. More things to do throughout the city. Maybe I'm reaching. Who knows? Now you can see in this scene... We have what looks to be the two leads cruising down the bayou in a fan boat, bayou boat, whatever you want to call it. So I'm hoping that is a new mode of transport that we can actually drive. That would be so much fun to go and cruise down the bayou in that. And this leaves me potential with all the wildlife, like bird hunting, all the potential animals you can shoot, kill, skin, who knows what you can do out here. Again, going back to Red Dead, Red Dead had so many little details that were so fantastic in that game. I'm hoping that a lot of them translate over to this one as well. I don't know if pelts or crafting would be necessary in this game, but still an interesting concept to think about. And then we're in the bayou still, as you can see. We got a bunch of flamingos, alligators, crocodiles, whatever you want to call them. I'm pretty sure they're gators. Some cranes. All kinds of wildlife out here. So that really... So that really hope makes me hope that hunting is a thing in this game. We already know fishing's a thing, or it's speculated to be a thing. But this amount of wildlife, there's got to be something to do with it. Now we've arrived at the beach scene. There's quite a bit to take in here. We've got a bunch of aircraft flying around, which is nothing new for GTA. Got a truck here, 
It looks to be a maybe a Coast Guard truck launching a boat or just launched a boat or picking up a boat from the water. So maybe that'll be an option for us to do. Finally be able to use the boats that are on the back of trucks and trailers in a more, you know, sensible way. And then I seen this down here on the bottom corner. This guy's taking a video of this girl, what I assume to be twerking her butt for views on the gram. And it seems like there's going to be a lot of social interaction type things they're advertising, which we'll get to here in a bit. And we got these two people here on the beach, and this guy's pretty buff. So I'm wondering if the physique is going to play a thing, like back in San Andreas, you could get fat, you could get swole, and in between, and it all had an effect on your player skill and everything else. So I'm hoping that makes a comeback. And you can see this beach seems to go on for miles. And there's a lot of people, so I'm hoping the density of people is correct. And this isn't just for the trailer. All right, now we get to this scene, and it looks like there's four boats either chasing each other. I'm not really sure. I don't have any context. But this is definitely a new boat. That is a catamaran-style boat. I've never seen that in GTA before. These I'm not 100% sure about. That one I can't really make out. But I'm not sure what the context here is. If these guys are chasing each other, there's some kind of cartel war going on, some smuggling operation going on. This is Florida, so who knows? You know, there's so much water, there's a lot of stuff goes on down there. And we're at a shipping yard. So are these come some kind of drug cartels that are chasing them down? Are we chasing them down in this boat? Who knows? Only time will tell. But the most I can take away from that is that it's definitely a new boat. And I'm excited to see that. And this kind of stuff makes me think that nightlife is going to be a big part of the city. The way she's hanging out with the car celebrating. We got this guy over here. It looks like he's taking a video on his phone out of a, what looks to be a new car. Or if it's a car that's been in the game, I'm not familiar with which one it is. Some kind of hyper or supercar. And then there's a hole in this building. And I know I already want to fly a plane through it. But that's besides the point. Moving on. All right, and then we get to this scene, which is, I love it. We got some beautiful pink car here with 27 inch on the window. And those I could believe are 27 inch rims. A low rider here. So I'm hoping that the low rider and car scene makes a big appearance in this game. Like there's a lot of customized cars here. And we got a police helicopter up here in the sky, just kind of hovering over. But as we get deeper into this scene, you can see there's more and more cars. It looks like a Crown Vic. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But this is definitely a lowrider done up. This thing is done up. It looks like a Hydro Boost Pack down here, which I could be wrong. I'm not a really a lowrider expert, so maybe Hydros, again, would be a thing. As you can see, there's another lowrider here with ginormous rims on it. A whole bunch of people hanging out. Outside of some kind of establishment, I'm not sure what. We got guys here with the trunk open doing who knows what. A deal, maybe just hanging out, socializing, showing off their speakers, who knows. She and then this looks to be in a strip club, which we've always been able to really go to strip clubs. That's nothing different. So I don't really see much going on here, just a big party. Maybe the nightlife scene, like I said, maybe that's more abundant this time. Maybe you can actually go and socialize, hang out in parties, make friends, make acquaintances. I don't really have much takeaway from this scene, if I'm honest. Now, I like geography, and I'm okay with geography, but since I've never been to Florida, I don't really know where this is going. It looks like it's going into the heart of Miami, so maybe it's coming from the Key West side. I'm not sure. But either way, we have a beautiful view here of the sprawling city. It looks massive from this angle. And I don't know what's behind us or to each side of us, but it gives you a really good view of the potential size of the city. It's already speculated to be twice the size of GTA 5, and that map is already pretty massive. So I guess only time will tell. And now we get to one of the scenes that excited me the most. Here you can see a bunch of cars parked along what I assume to be downtown, clubbing district probably. 
And right in this one scene, we have three new cars, potentially four new cars. But two of them are buried. I will show you here in a second. First, we got this blue here. Definitely a Porsche, like a newer model Porsche, Porsche, whichever, however you prefer to say it. Don't judge me. And then we have what looks to be an old Ferrari or Cheetah in this game. But I can't put my finger on what make and model. And I remember it being in Vice City, but I don't remember it being in 5 or 4. So I guess it's not a new car, but it's a car that looks like it's being brought back to the series. I could be wrong, just speculating. That looks to be a new Corvette right here as well. I mean, I think they added the Corvette to GTA Online somewhat recently. So it's not really a new car, but it's still there. And then otherwise from that, you don't see much else. It looks like you got a Dominator here. Uh, I can't really tell what this one is. This green one. But it might be a new supercar or it could be an already existing car. You got a Shyster here, I do believe. Looks to be some kind of Lambo or something back here. Then as I advance the scene a little bit more, see there's a new look at that green car. It seems to be like a Lambo, maybe a Ventador or some kind of supercar like that. Hard to tell because you only get like a second to look at it. But this right here, this yellow one, is the one I was most excited about. Looks to be a mid-50s Bel Air. I don't know what it's going to be called in this game, but if they're bringing classic cars into this game, that makes me beyond excited. So if they're bringing classic cars into the game, like a Bel Air or something, and they really refine the customization options and what it lets you do with cars, I feel like this has got the potential to be some really, really cool old classic cars. So this part I looked at for quite a while, and I can almost guarantee right now, I'm willing to put money on it, that this right here will be a stunt jump, and this right here will be a stunt jump, but that's besides the point. As soon as I saw that, I had to do some Google searching. So yeah, here's a still shot of that and this old broken down train bridge. It looks to me about this area. This bridge is identical. It's got the gap. It's got the gap that comes down to here. There's a little nook that comes out right here. Little nooks right here. It drops down there and there's the gap. And if you zoom out a little bit, it's got the same turn, the highway, and this is out in the Key West area. Big Pine going out to the end of Key West. That's where I think that is for sure. They look quite similar. And we all know that GTA likes to make real landmarks as real as possible without using real names. So if that doesn't look exactly the same as that, I don't know what does. So this highway should be going out to Key West. And this is going back to Miami or vice versa. I'm not familiar with the geography. I don't know which way the camera's flipped. But it's somewhere out in that general vicinity. This scene doesn't really show much either besides some girl posing I'm assuming for Instagram or whatever. But it's up what it looks to be in a penthouse. So I'm hoping that penthouse parties, penthouse ownership or something along those lines is in this game. But again, this could just be showing how much more social the world is. That there's always things going on that you don't ever see or you don't participate in. Or just to make the city feel like a living, breathing city. Then we get to this scene with the old man on the boat with a bunch of ladies. And down at the bottom says, hey, poppy, save some sugar baby for the rest of us. And it's got an option to follow. And it reminds me of either like a Facebook Live, an Instagram Live, some kind of live thing or story. Like it's an old Facebook story or an old Instagram story, something along those lines. And as we go on here, then we get to this scene. Official Poach. Looks like he's pulling a gator out of the water as an animal control member. And again, it seems like it's a Facebook story or something like that. And yet again, same thing, another one on the bottom saying, have the option to follow, have a vice day. So I'm hoping that social media has more impact in this game, as in you can make friends, maybe make business acquaintances and 
find random events, find this, find that kind of thing. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking they're pointing at here. And this one could be a reach, but this is clearly a, a car takeover. They took over the intersection. They're doing burnouts and drifting in the intersection. we got crowds of people watching. But this car is purple. Purple is a baller color. So I don't know if that's trying to say, like, hey, ballers are made their way down to Miami, Florida. And then we got a green one here. Green is Grove colors. Again, this could be a massive reach. Are they trying to say that gangs are back and the ballers and the, the groves have expanded? Again, I don't know what to make of this scene, but I hope this stuff happens where you can just come across a big car meet or participate in a big car meet and cause general chaos. You can see some old classics like a Feltzer down here. And we got another purple car over here. But I don't see any people with purple colors, so it could just be coincidence. We've got a Buccaneer back here. So a lot of our old favorites are still here. And now we're back to the social media thing again. See, this one's got hearts going. And this is live chat. So this has got to be a live event of some sort. And when it comes to the Gator, that just makes me laugh. I don't know if it has any relevance to anything or, again, just random events that are going to happen throughout the city. But just seeing a big old Gator walk through is pretty funny to me. Then as you switch to the next scene, it looks like a bunch of police officers kicking in a door, doing a drug raid potentially, or a gang clean out or something. So I'm hoping that cops and crooks have more of an impact in this game. Like there's faction wars, basically, like almost like gang wars, except it's police versus gangs and you know, drug crackdowns and this and that. And again, something else is going on. And I'm pretty sure this is a parody of Florida Man. I have a feeling. I could be wrong. But it seems like they're parodying Florida Man. And this truck doesn't look familiar to me. It looks like a GMC Dually. I don't know what it would be called in game. Even the gas station. So maybe there's another new vehicle added to the list. There's a couple more scenes. You got this guy. Only in Leonida is a cross grab. An apology for bad driving. I'm assuming that's a part of town. And you got this guy doing some stunting on the top of his car. It says, Rip Rudy, see you in heaven, cuz. Bunch of stickers with hashtags and stuff. Ridiculous customs. Vice vinyls. Wrap it like it's hot. Uh, that's a reference. Drop it like it's hot. I love it. So maybe... Again, insinuating that customization is going to make a big return in the game because that was something that was kind of lacking in GTA Five. Like, yes, there was a lot of customization, but they were all basically the same. I'm hoping for more diverse customization, meaning if you want to make a mudder, you can do that. You may not want to make a drift car, you can do that. You want to make a lowrider, you can do that. And they all kind of customize differently. This is a scene that excites me a lot. One thing you really take away from this scene is there's quads, dirt bikes, and what looks to be a Razor side-by-side -side or some kind of side-by-side. -side. So maybe new vehicles again to drive, new toys to have some fun with. Now as you come to this scene here, this sign on the side makes me laugh. It looks like a drugged up, whatever that is, a drugged up drug, I guess. That makes me chuckle. As you can see here on the right side, there's a sign there. It's clearly a mall. Whether or not the mall will be accessible, I don't know. Maybe it's just something there to take up a big chunk of land to make it look pretty. I guess time will tell. And also, what you take away from this scene, as I reel it down a bit, as you can see, the police are still coming while the two protagonists are leaving in a direction, almost as if they're hiding in the car. The cops haven't recognized them yet. Same principle as GTA Five, Or they're trying to say that the police response time isn't going to be instant like GTA Five. I know they're supposed to have a redeveloped police system, so maybe that's what they're trying to insinuate here. I'm not really sure. Only way. You can see him looking in the mirror like, are we spotted? Do they know it's him? You can see the bandana still on his neck, so clearly he just left the scene of a robbery. And you can see him checking the mirror to see if he's been made or if they know it's him or not. We're gonna get through this. And same with Lucille. She looks back like, oh crap, are we made? As they drive about their day with clearly ill-gotten gains. And then we get to this scene. We got a whole bunch of people catwalking and 
wheeling and hanging out, going up the road on a bunch of dirt bikes and quads. And I've seen videos of that stuff going viral all the time. So maybe, again, there's bike cultures as well. It's car cultures. And you got a bunch of people on the side cheering them on. And it looks like a somewhat not run down neighborhood, but not exactly high class neighborhood either. Together. We got dirt bike, dirt bags. Cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. So is this just showing random events? Or can I be a part of this mayhem? Because if I can, I will be. And in this scene, you can see them both in a store, clearly about to do a robbery. He's got the same black bandana around his face that he had in the scene before when they were leaving from the cops. So maybe this is the robbery they were just doing. And they're bouncing out. Then we got what looks to be the stallion doing a getaway after they did the robbery. And it looks like he does a nice drift around this corner. I'm hoping they redefine the driving physics a little bit. Somewhere between GTA 4 and GTA 5, leaning a little bit more towards GTA 4. GTA 4's physics were better. I don't care what anyone says. I will die on that hill. Yes, it had, it's showing its age. It could definitely be redefined. But 4 was better than 5. I will die on that hill. And here we are again, they're holding up what looks to be some kind of store, probably a liquor store. 10 pound of ice. Yeah, lager light. Some kind of liquor store they're holding up. And again, that black bandana is on his face from the scene from earlier. This truck looks to be new, I don't remember seeing it in GTA. Maybe the old GTAs, but nothing next gen. So maybe there's another new vehicle added. And then we get to the saddest part of the whole video. Coming 2025. So it's still going to be two years before we get the game. Well, guys, I know it's not the best breakdown video. I've never done one before. There is lots of guys on YouTube covering this way more intently. And have way more knowledge of what they're doing. I'm just super excited for GTA 6 that I figured I'd make my own attempt at a breakdown video. And hopefully have more to come in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first attempt. Let me know. See you next time.